glory and praise to you. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews who believed in him, If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are descendants of Abraham and have never been enslaved to anyone. How can you say you will become free? Jesus answered them, Amen, amen, I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave of sin. A slave does not remain in a household forever, but a son always remains. So, if the Son frees you, then you will truly be free. I know that you are descendants of Abraham, but you are trying to kill me because my word has no room among you. I tell you what I have seen in the Father's presence. Then do what you have heard from the Father. They answered and said to him, Our father is Abraham. Jesus said to them, if you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works of Abraham. But now you are trying to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. You are doing the works of your father. So they said to him, We were not born of fornication. We have one father, God. Jesus said to them, If God were your father, you would love me, for I came from God and am here. I did not come on my own, but he sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. When the principal author of Scripture is the Holy Spirit, working with the human gifts of the human authors, beautiful things happen. And in John's gospel, he is a master at contrast, at light and darkness, at opposites, at irony, all of it trying to explicate under the light of the Holy Spirit the truth of who Jesus as Yahweh in the flesh truly is. And so we see this contrast in today's gospel. Jesus starts out by saying, if you remain in my word, you'll be my disciples. You'll know the truth. The truth will set you free. Truth, freedom. But then what we get in response are lies. We're the children of Abraham. We've never been enslaved. Not true. They were enslaved for 400 years in Egypt. And then they were carted off to Babylon for 70 years. And even now, while Jesus is walking among them, they're not free. They have to bow down to their overlords, the Romans. They're not free. And yet they say, we've never been enslaved. Of course, Jesus is speaking at a spiritual level. You're enslaved to the degree that you're not free from sin. Then the next irony in this, we all know who Jesus is and where he came from and that he's the, the fruit of a virgin birth. He is not born of fornication. He is immaculately conceived in the womb of the Immaculate Virgin. And then the third contrast here, the listeners just got done saying that, they, that their father is Abraham. And then they say, we have no father but God. Well, which is it? Is it Abraham? Is it God? See how the, when you're not rooted in the truth, you can make things look any way you want. 
The Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth, and it's the power of the Spirit that enables us to remain in the word of Jesus in, in, in such a way that it really will transform us if we let it. And by and by, the Lord, the Lord of freedom, sets us free. How? By being children, daughters, and sons, by grace of the Father.